In this video, I'm going to break down to you exactly why New Year's resolutions suck and why 80% of humanity simply does not and will not complete over 20% of their New Year's resolutions. Now, you see, oftentimes when the end of the year comes around, um, many of us, and I know for me as well, um, you know, especially the last like December or the last quarter, really the entire quarter of, of the, the, the Q4 of the year, we've just simply been dragging our feet. And then it's always procrastination that has been simply playing a huge role in our lives, which is tomorrow I'll start this next week. I'll go to the gym. I'll lose those 10 pounds next month. I will start this business venture in two weeks after this happens. I will start doing this thing. And I know I struggled with that kind of thing for many years in my life. And especially Q4, it just struggles because in our mind, it's like, well, I'm going to start fresh slate, fresh page, January 1st, beginning of the year. I'm going to make these goals. And then you just start excited. So you could literally even spend entire Q4 planning for the next year and breaking things down and setting up your goals and doing all these things. But usually we make a laundry list of different goals that we want to accomplish in the next year, in the new year, right? And the problem is that, and I've tried this many times and across many different, you know, uh, um, categories and many different things, but human beings, we're just not good at multitasking. We kind of suck at doing more than one thing at the same time. And unless you're going to say month one, I'm going to do this thing. Month two, I'm going to do this thing. Month three, I'm going to do that thing and just break it down. But usually we're not really that disciplined and that organized to do that. What we say is that we're going to take the next 12 months to do those 15 things, right? And because we suck at multitasking, usually we half ass 80% of the list. And in fact, we don't even go more than, you know, uh, go through more than 20% of our list and just simply, you know, drop the ball come March or April and let life happen. Really life doesn't happen. We allow life to happen to us because I think we all can agree here that good or bad things happen to good people, regardless of how good your intentions are or how good you are in society or whatever you're doing, bad things will happen to you. And unless you're just going to take those bad things and, and react to it in a positive way, your life will just always be, you know, you're going to always be the victim of bad things, right? So you have to look at 12 months, 365 days and say, for the next 365 days, I'm going to focus my entire energy, all of my resources. I'm going to commit to one, maybe two things. And for you, those could be different. And maybe every year focus on one area of your life. Maybe one year you simply take it and then you focus on your health. Maybe one year you take it and focus on your relationships. Maybe one year you take it and focus on how you communicate with people and how you, you know, what kind of a person are you in society? Are you contributing towards the society? Um, maybe one year you take it and, and you invest it all in self-development and, and just say, you know, this year I'm going to read 50 books and this year I'm going to do, I'm going to attend five seminars and I'm going to take this many courses and attend this many masterminds. And I'm just going to soak in as much as possible because the following 12 months, I want to start this venture and I want to dedicate the following 12 months to doing that. So this next 12 months, I'm going to simply learn as much as I can about this new thing. And then the following 12 months, I'm going to start this new thing and I'm going to focus 100% on it, right? And you have to allow yourself a minimum of 12 months. In fact, I tell everybody, you need to allow yourself a minimum of 24 months, especially when you're starting any new thing. I get asked all the time, Bashar, what is the new hot thing? What is the thing that you are paying attention to now? Where are you investing your money? Where are you investing your time? And I'm like, well, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't follow any NFTs. I don't follow COVID. I don't follow politics. Sometimes I don't even know who the president is. I don't know what cryptocurrencies are there. I don't know what stocks are hot or what com this company does because there is only one thing that I'm focused on. It's my company. It's our team, it's our students, making sure that our students get the best result possible, making sure that our team has the most, the highest and the best opportunity at BJK University than anywhere else. Those are literally the only two things that I am focused on inside of 2022. I went and I sat down and I grabbed a sheet of paper and I started writing down all my goals, all the things that I want to accomplish. And I had a laundry list of about 17 things. 
and then I just literally killed all of them and I only left three things. Number one, it's literally growing BJK University to the highest it can because we truly believe that we have the best product and that it impacts people's lives and we really give a shit about people's results and, and just simply focusing on that. Number two is making our program, BJK University Amazon FBA program, the best online business opportunity educational program in the world. Not just Amazon, but in the world. Number three, I want to have a 10% body fat. I'm at 13%, I wanna have 10% body fat. Those are the only three things that I am focused on inside of 2022, and that's it. Everything else, I'm just gonna simply drop. I'm not gonna be looking at what kind of a car I'm gonna be driving. I'm not gonna care about where I live. I'm not gonna care about how and what I eat. I'm not gonna even be thinking about, you know, what, where I want to travel or, uh, you know, where should I invest my money or should I buy a home? Should I buy an apartment complex? You know, how do I mitigate taxes at the end of the year or whatever? Because if I do those things, if I focus on those three things, all the other stuff will just fall in place. All the other stuff will just start happening for me without me needing to think about it, right? And then I might go into other things throughout the year, but my main focus is those three things. So that way, what happens is you stay disciplined. And every time someone presents something new to you, you say no, because you have to go back and say, I am inside of 2022, inside of those 12 months, which I set only three goals for myself. Does this new thing that I'm going to take on, does it serve that purpose? So for me, if I want, if someone comes to me and says, Bashar, there is this next Uber, invest $150,000 in 10 years that can turn into $100 million, right? And although everything could be simply, you know, 100% going towards that thing and it's like, yeah, I mean, it's like a no brainer, you study it, everything looks great. I have to look back at my three core values and at my three goals for the year. Does that serve those three? No, it doesn't. So then I'm going to say no. If someone comes to me and says, Bashar, there's this new workout that I have been doing for the last six months and I was able to get a six pack. I've never had a six pack in my life. Okay. Does that serve the three goals that I have for 2022? Yes. I want to have a 10% body fat lower uh, three from 13 because I'm at 13 right now, 13.2 and 13.4 or whatever. Well, okay, cool. Then I'm going to actually start implementing that. Let me implement it for the next quarter, for the next three months, and then see if I can drop the 13 to, to 12 or to 11 or to 10. You know, really that would be the, the, the best thing, right? So you just really have to stay focused and keep it simple, stupid. And you're going to hear me talk about focus and kiss. Keep it simple, stupid, literally everywhere. And if you take those principles and apply them all throughout your life, goal setting, how you, do, how you eat, how you shop, how you purchase, how you make purchases, how you dress, how you, how you uh, work, how you exercise, literally everywhere, you can apply those principles everywhere, you will find that you will have a smoother and cleaner mindset and you're going to have a smoother and cleaner look about life and you're going to be able to accomplish more with less because more does not mean more. More, in fact, means less. And less, in fact, means more. The less things you do, the less things you have to focus on, the less things you have to put your energy and resources and time into, the better you're going to accomplish those things, the better you're going to do them. Therefore, your result is going to be higher. The more things you're doing all at the same time, the less energy and the less resources you have dedicated to every single one of them, therefore, the outcome is going to be less just simply because your energy, your time, your effort is not going to be uh, very well distributed and it's not going to be very focused and it's just not going to be that strong. Outside of that, I really hope that you guys liked this video. If you did, please consider subscribing and smash the thumbs up button that um, you enjoyed this video because it helps us rank in the algorithm. Outside of that, let us know in the comments what more you'd like to see from this channel. Hope to see you in the next video. Take care.